boy, I have had the worst day of my life. Matter of fact, not even the worst day. I wouldn't even go that far. I've been taking L's. Just nothing has been going right. Everything has been going left from when I first woke up today. I don't want every belt came with the shoes. I don't want every title. I never lose. Clearance to clean it now. Make moves and we clean the house. Long live the legends of every profession. Is that what we scream about? I wake up early this morning, I go to the bathroom to go brush my teeth. Guess what happened? The door motherfucking locked. Why the door locked? I don't know. Is anybody inside? No. So how did I'm gonna brush my teeth? So I gotta take, I gotta go find myself a screwdriver, open the door from the outside to get inside. Lo and behold, the inside of the bathroom smells like straight up shit. So whoever used the bathroom yesterday ain't flush the toilet. Matter of fact, if somebody used the bathroom earlier this morning, they ain't flush the toilet. So the bathroom smell like straight up shit. Now I'm in here brushing my teeth with the scent of studo coming up my nose. That's how my morning start. I come downstairs to come eat breakfast. I'm heating up some eggs. I put some eggs on the damn frying pan. I'm flipping them and shit. I walk to the bathroom for two seconds to go wash my hands. I come back, all the eggs is burnt. I had three egg whites in there, boy. All them shits was burnt. So, my breakfast consisted of oxygen and a whole lot of H2O from the tap, from the doggone tap. Then, I'm going to the gym. So, I put my bike in the back of my father's car because I was going to show him how to use a debit or credit card to pay for gas because he's never done it before. So, he gives me a ride to the gym. I go in the gym, start clanging and banging and clanging and banging, as The Rock would say. I leave the gym only to hop on my bike, go five minutes, and have the left crank arm of my bike, where the pedal is located, come the fuck off. Look at this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. It comes right off, son. It comes right off. This is what I gotta deal with. Now I'm over here scooting with one leg to move down the street while I'm on a bicycle. About, I would say, 15 minutes away from my house by bike, 10, 12 minutes away from my house by car, and about 45 minutes away from my house by walking. So I've got quite the distance to go. And then my father calls me. He calls me and tells me, your aunt wants you to come over. She has something for you. So now I gotta go to my aunt's house. And for those of you who don't know my aunt, being most of you, this lady is annoying as hell. Now, it's not the kind of annoying that you would suspect. Not the type of woman who's just petty to be petty. No, she's the lady who loves you a little bit too much. She's the lady who wish you were her kid. She's the lady who thinks you are her kid. So she all up on me, why haven't you called me? I called 18 times yesterday. I only spoke to you 16. Why didn't you pick up the phone the other two times? That's who my aunt is. Annoying. So I go to her house and I'm over there and I'm sitting with her and my, and my uncle and we're speaking and I get another phone call from my brother. And guess what he tells me? Yo bro. I forgot my ID at home. I can't get into work. Could you do me a favor? Could you pick up my ID and bring it to me? That'd be highly appreciated. Thank you. He calls me at 1.43. He starts work at 2 o'clock. I'm not even home, mind you. I'm still 10 minutes away from my house. So here I am in the presence of an annoying woman now having to depart to hop into my hot ass car that's been sitting in the sun for quite some hours to drive to the airport to go drop off my brother's ID. So I leave my aunt's house. I get home at two o'clock. I spend 10 minutes trying to find this man's ID. I don't know where he put it. My phone, let me not even forget. My phone was on 1% when I got the phone call from him. So my phone died in the midst of our conversation. So now I got no phone. So here I am calling on the house phone to go contact my brother to ask him where the ID at. I finally end up finding it. So I hop in the car, I tell him I'll be there by 2.50. Why? Because the highway is completely backed up. Traffic through the ass. 
You would have thought it was a bunch of old ladies on the highway street having a wrestling match the way the highway was not moving. So I had to take an alternative route, you know? I had to take an alternative route. And you won't believe, I go down the street about 10 minutes away from my house and I encounter two different streets where they have a plethora of buses just colluding together instead of moving one the lightest green. Can you imagine being a driver behind four buses? Four buses. The light has went from red to green three different occasions and you haven't moved from your same spot. Mind you, three of the four buses were all not in service. Why are you still here? Put your foot on the gas. So here I am, stuck in traffic. Ended up showing up to the airport 15 minutes late. And mind I add, the alternative route that I went on the conduit to get to the airport, it was busy as well. So there was a group of grandpas having a wrestling match in the middle of the street. I can't deal with this bullshit. How many L's can I take today? I finally get there 305, I get a man his ID, I start to drive myself home. I put my phone on the charger. It charges for about two hours. At least I believe it charges for two hours. I go back upstairs, I grab my phone. Oh, what do I see? Zero percent, I can't turn it on. Turns out the charger wasn't plugged in. So I had the plug plugged into the extension cord, but the extension cord wasn't connected to the outlet. So here I am, four hours, no charge phone. 21st century problems. So I tell myself, all right, Dave, you gotta calm yourself down. So I go downstairs and I go to the refrigerator to go grab me something to eat. Eat some of my mother's cooking. The food gotta be heated up in a microwavable plate, so I wanna put it in the microwave. I take all the pots out, I put them on the table, I'm smiling. The aroma of the food is smelling quite exquisite and there's no microwavable plates available. Absolutely no Tupperware in sight. The only thing available for me to eat is cheese and kiwis. Why would I want to eat cheese and kiwis? How am I supposed to eat food? And might I add, it's not even seven o'clock yet. This is terrible. There's absolutely nothing here for me to live, to eat off of. My bike broken, my car is hot as shit. There's no way I can eat. There's no Tupperware. What am I supposed to do? Sometimes you just gotta come to a conclusion with yourself. Maybe today just isn't my day.